Carrollton. We're here in the O'Reilly Family Events Center where the Drury Panthers are getting ready to take on Rockhurst. I'm here with assistant coach Dan Friedel. Coach, Rockhurst shoots the three at an extremely high rate of 27 a game. How important is it to get that number lower today? Uh, you know, it's a big emphasis area for us. We've been practicing all week, taking away the three-point shot. We've got to be, you know, we got to execute our rotations really well and, and take away their shooters. The O'Reilly Center is completely sold out for Overflow the O. What's the energy level like moments before the game? Uh, you know, our guys are really excited. Uh, they get excited for this game every year. It's one we one we look forward to, and, and we're just really fortunate to play in front of some great fans. Thanks, Coach. Now over to Bobby Hearn with the highlights. Call the fire marshal because the O'Reilly Center is filled to the brim as Drury hosts Rockhurst in the sixth annual Overflow the O. Student section is lively this afternoon. Maybe some nerves out of the gate for DU. Rockhurst gets out to a 7-2 start. Doug Moore, though, bringing Drury back with the hustle on the glass. Second chance goes. DU within one. Cameron Ricks coming off a career-high 14. He continues the hot shooting. The triple puts DU up a deuce. Rockhurst coach Drew Downer saying, Get it together, men! Andrew L. Wanger. Tremendous beard. Unfortunate last name. Hawks up 13-12. More Ricks swivels to the lane for two. Grant Boswell follows the same formula. Steve Hesser given his bench big minutes in the first half, and they rewarded him. More once again, this time with the baby hook, gets it to fall. That puts the Panthers up nine. John Williams caps a 9-0 run off the turnover, but Rockhurst claws back. Drury up just three, 33-30 at the half. Michelle Boswell, Carol Oliver honored before the game. The unsung heroes of Drury Athletics overflow the O. Wouldn't be the same without those two. Under two to play, Caleb Warner drives it, and now it's a one-point game, 64-63 Drury. Back on the other end, shot clock winding down. Foster finds Josh Palmer, who gets the bounce. Panthers back up three. And here come the free throws. Travis House to the line with under 22 seconds to play. Makes the first, misses the second. Ball winds up back in his hand somehow. Gets a decent look from three and air mails it. So 15 seconds left. Foster to the stripe. First is good and hits the second to make it a two-possession game, 68-64. Hawks sprint the length of the court to find Connor Evans in the corner and he buries it, 68-67. John Williams, now his turn to hit free throws, and the sophomore is clutch. Hits both 69-67. William finished with 17. Panthers elect to prevent the three and foul. House goes back to the line, hits number one, needs to miss the second, and just makes a silly mistake, throws it off the backboard. It does not hit the rim, so it's automatically Drury Ball. DU misses their free throw, so the Hawks get one last shot with .7 seconds on the clock, but Foster is there for the strip, and Drury escapes 70-68 to send the fans home happy. Panthers now 13-4, and four, and we have video interviews for your enjoyment. You guys have struggled with free throws the past few weeks. What does a game like this say about the importance of hitting those down the stretch? I mean, free throws are huge. We practice them every day, but when it comes down to the line, missing two, three, four free throws, that, that's key at the end of the game. So we got to make our free throws starting in the first half and got to finish them in the second. Coach, probably a little closer than you would have liked. How would you pull it out? Well, we scored a couple more points than they did. That's how we. That's how we pulled it out. Uh, uh, first, can I regress a second? Is that is that all right with you? And six years ago, the overflow, the O was started, I believe. Uh, um, you know, uh, Michelle and Carol, uh, uh, two great servants for the university, both graduates from here. You know, wanted to do something uh, special for. Uh, you know the men's and women's uh, basketball teams, and and um, you know it's it's grown and it and it takes work and and uh, but uh, you know for the people that came, uh, our students, uh, you know our fans, and and maybe some that uh, first time uh, viewers, uh, um, you know uh, thank you all for for your attendance today and and, and giving our guys. Um, you know, uh, and, and the Lady, Lady Panthers, giving them uh, an environment that's, uh, you know, big-time basketball. 